Yes, acidic and alkaline diets became very popular in the late like 10-15 years, let's say. Uh, the basic rule there is like 80% alkaline food, 20% acidic, or it can be 75, 25. So let's be flexible about it. it the important thing is to create the balance. But the thing is, um, it is definitely uh, scientific. It's not a, it's not something popular or will go away like because it's happening in our body, you know. And uh, actually, uh, I, at the life school, when I first uh, heard about that, I was curious, like, how will we make sure that these are correct? And there is a, a Turkish doctor wrote uh, a book about this. Uh, and I was like, I was thinking, like, is there someone like seeing these cells happening these acidic and alkaline reactions and so on yes she was a, a bio lab technician something like that and she literally explained these things were happening in the body so what's happening uh, everything has a ph degree degree from zero to 14 and seven is neutral below seven is acidic above seven is alkaline what are the actually most things are acidic like uh, processed foods, fried foods, dairy, cheese, bread, pasta, you know, pastry, whatever. And some emotions also like hatred, jealousy, fear. These are also acidic. We can actually even uh, say better acid forming foods and emotions. These are creating acid in the system. Let's look at the alkaline part, more greens and vegetables, green leafy vegetables, regular vegetables, wheat, grass juice, grapefruit and lemon there, even though they're acidic, but they're alkaline forming when they're in the body, says Dr. Robert Young in his uh, book called PH Miracle, you know, and some emotions like peace, stillness, calmness, I don't know where to put love. Sometimes it, it can be acidic also, you know, I don't know. So anyway, uh, and in our body, there is this balanced pH level between 7.34, 7.45. It is like our body temperature, like 36, 37. Uh, if, if our body temperature gets 35, 34, we die. It's that serious. Or like if we get 44 degree of you know uh, fever we die so we, it's like that so we have to um, keep that balance the body has to keep that balance how does it do if we get too acidic with these foods and emotions uh, the body says, oh, you're getting too acidic and I need to survive. Then I will take uh, alkalizing minerals, which are in the body, in the bones, in the teeth, in hair, magnesium, in the heart muscles, whatever, you know. So it puts into the blood and creates this balance nicely. But what happens? You take a lot of acidic stuff from the outside or creating with emotions, but you lose your inner mineral resources which is not good which makes you feel weak uh, decreased immunity and so on so what should we do we should support our body with more alkalizing foods emotions water whatever that's the balance so if you're having 20 25 percent acidic is okay but the rest should be 75 percent alkaline that's how our body keeps the balance you know so this is about acidic and alkaline uh, diet let's say and um, how you will make sure that it really works you should definitely try you'll be amazed the skin gets better um, water retention and edema swelling goes away your blood pressure blood sugar uh, is getting balanced uh, it's anti-aging uh, bowel movements are so much better everything in the body gets into the balance uh, and without trying you cannot uh, understand that you should definitely try and see yourself 
and you can get the book also uh, to see more uh, details about it like this PH miracle book there is in Turkish tra translation also and also there is another one PH miracle in diabetes you know so um, we highly recommend this is the life co approach actually for maintenance